Hello everyone. Welcome to day 9th of October Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Word Search 2. In this question, we are given a grid of size M cross N where each cell has some characters associated with it. We need to identify the number of words that are also given to us that lie within this grid. And in what all directions can you move? You can move in 4 directions, top, left, bottom and right. This is an extension of word search one that we solved two days back. There in that question only a single word was present. However, in this question there are multiple words that we need to search. And once we have the list of those words that lie in this matrix, we need to output them. So seems like a typical extension of that question and I'll talk about how are we going to solve this approach uh, in the presentation section. So without much ado, let's look at the PPT. Word search 2, lead code 212. It's a hard question on lead code, but uh, if you solved yesterday's two questions, one the basic implementation of tries and other one word search one, then I would say it's a medium level question. Because we are going to use the same concepts here. It's a time to implement those concepts. So let's try and look at the first possible solution, word search one, which is an extension of uh, the question that we solved two days back. So the naive approach that comes to everyone's mind when they read this question is to search for all the given words in this matrix one by one and once you identify whether that word is present into in your matrix uh, then you add it to your answer data set. This is a typical approach that will cause that may cause TLE issues but uh, I'll provide the solution that won't cause TLE issues. So I won't recommend this solution because the time complexity of this solution is way higher. Uh, let's assume there are n words that we need to search for and the size of the matrix is L cross P. Then the total complexity would become N into L into P. So uh, this is of order 3 and we are not very happy with this complexity. How, how can we improvise this? We can improvise this using this question that we solved yesterday, implement tries. Let's see how. Even before starting the details of the algorithm, I am just making one difference to the try node uh, from the one that I specified yesterday. Uh, yesterday I used a boolean flag is word to identify whether the current node is a leaf node or not, whether it's a terminal state or for a word or not. Instead of this, what I'm gonna keep, I'll cut this up, I'll keep a string and it will store the terminal word at that particular index where the termination is actually happening. For example, uh, let's assume the word is EAT. So how would the tri node be formed? We'll have E pointing to A, A pointing to T and at T we will store the complete word EAT instead of is leaf or is word boolean flag. So that we know that this is a termination of the word and we also have the word in place. This is the advantage that storing the string at the terminal position will give us that we don't need to keep track of what was the word that we iterated over. Now let's look at the solution. Uh, I'll be using the same approach that I used yesterday to implement tries. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to build the try data structure using all these four words that I need to search in the matrix. So let's start building the try data structure. We'll create a root and the first character in oath is O. So this is the new node and it will uh, add O, a new node will originate and it will point to A. Something like this and from A we'll go to T. Something like this and from T we'll go to H and at H we'll also create a new node and at this particular node if we will store the complete word which is oath. Let's continue the process for the for next word we have P. So this is our root node. A new node will originate from P and it will go up till E. From E we'll have A and from A we'll have another node where we will store P. 
let's move ahead we have eat and from eat e we will create a new node and it will have a it will have t and at t will create another node that will store eat next is rain so we'll start with r r will store a a will store i i will store n and from n we'll have another node that will store rain so pretty good so far we have built in the complete try data structure using all the input words that were given to us now comes the interesting case how are we going to use this data to actually search for all the words present in the matrix so let me just change the color of pen for better clarity and let's start the iteration uh, the first character that we see is o and uh, what we are going to do we'll jump on to the oth character in our root node what do you see you see there exists a node at o awesome that means we found a word so we will update it to visited somehow we are going to keep track that we have visited this node and we are not going to use this uh, what what we will do uh, we will search for the next character in all the four directions so we'll go up we'll go right we'll go towards left we'll go towards bottom obviously we'll keep track of the corner cases and towards its right we have an a character so what we are going to do we'll search this a character in the try node do we have a link from o to a yes it does exist pretty awesome so we'll mark it as visited again we'll go in four directions uh, right bottom left and up uh, up is the boundary condition ignored left is already visited ignored there are two possible ways a towards a and towards t so let's move towards a first uh, do we have an an a originating from this a no it's null so uh, we are pretty safe we'll abort the process uh, we'll go in the bottom direction we see t so do we have a t node starting from a yes we have so we'll jump on to t again pretty good and uh, we will mark this as visited that we have visited this node now we'll repeat the process we'll go in all the four directions first towards a then towards bottom then towards left and then towards top so uh, let's see towards a from t do we have any link uh, at a there is no link at a so we will skip this so we this control will return next we have is h so we'll go to h and uh, what do you see we'll mark it as visited and at h we saw that the word is also complete there is an entry oath present at h that means this is a terminal state of a word what we are going to do we'll mark this word in our answer data set so oath gets added in our answer data set uh, also you can move in the eth direction this particular direction towards the left e doesn't exist from t so we'll abort that process and uh, once you are done iterating uh, in one particular uh, direction you will also you need to backtrack it as to mark it so as to mark it as unvisited for the next iterations to happen so we are slightly using the backtracking concepts here as well uh, but uh, if you are not able to get that don't worry i'll explain it in the coding section just remember that while iterating through the dfs approach once we have marked the node as visited we just need to unmark it as unvisited for the next iterations to happen properly because there could be cases that uh, we have and we have a word getting formed as e another word getting formed in this direction so this character will be present and considered in both these words in the hypothetical scenario let's assume there is a word stretched in this span there is another word stretched in this span this e character can be treated in both the words that's why we need to mark it as unvisited for the next iterations to happen and in this way we'll start the try search uh, starting from each and every node in our 
a matrix each from each and every cell in our matrix and we'll try to build or search for solutions that exist in the tri node you can uh, draw the same thing on pen and paper and walk through the rest of the iterations it's pretty simple and straightforward nothing much to worry about just start the iteration starting from each character in your matrix and try to look out for words now it's time to look at the solution part i'll be explaining the both the approaches this try plus dfs approach and uh, extension of word search in the coding section so stay tuned do watch it up in the first approach i'll be using the extension of word search problem i'll exactly do the same thing as i did two days back uh, it it just that we'll be searching for each and every word that is given in the input data set i have created a set of string hash set that will store the answer n and m variables are storing the grid length and column length and uh, and in case my n happens to be 0 or m happens to be 0 i return an empty array list otherwise i go and start the iteration i loop over all the input words i check uh, if uh, my Of starting char word character happens to be equal to the board at i comma j length. I start the DFS operation, and if my DFS operation says that this word is present in the board, I add it to my result. I do it for all the given words possible, and in the end, I return an array list using the hash set that I created above. Hash set is used here so as to remove unnecessary duplications getting added into my answer set. Uh, next. Uh, let's look at the helper method the dfs helper method it's exactly the same that we discussed two days back we have the input word we have the length we have i comma j we have visited array and we have the chest uh, we have the board if my length happens to be equal to the word length i simply return true from it otherwise i go and check for the boundary conditions if my current character in the board at i comma j index is not equal to the word uh, character at a given index i simply return it back at to false or if i visited the current node in the past i simply return false from it otherwise i mark it as visited i store the result for by moving in all the four directions performing across in all the four directions if my result happens to be true it will return uh, true from here and once i'm done with the iteration starting from a particular node i mark it as unvisited so that it doesn't corrupt uh, for future cases let's try this up accepted the, as i told before starting the question the time complexity is not that great can we improvise it the answer is yes how let me just show that to you guys let me just comment this up i just copy pasted the solution that i solved an year back uh, in february 2020 and this is a solution and let's just walk through it so uh, as i talked about that we are going to replace the a uh, boolean is leaf or is word variable with the word itself so as to identify that it marks the completion of the complete word and we also know what word was it, it it's the rest of it is exactly same to what we discussed yesterday it will have children of size 26 that represents 26 english characters and let's walk through the core method we go and uh, write find words method it has two parameters board and words given to us we create an array list of result we build the tri node using words and we store m and m that are the uh, number of rows or number of columns in the input board we start the iteration and we perform dfs operation dfs operation will be responsible for storing all the words found in the try root in our result data set and in the end we simply return the result data set let's walk through the two helper methods build try and dfs so the first one is build try because it's easier to understand it's exactly same what we did yesterday so i would highly recommend you guys to watch the two solutions word search and implement try it will be really helpful to actually see the practical implementation of both these both those questions so have, we have created a new node root and uh, we start the iteration one by one for each word 
we check uh, this p variable is for iterating over all the characters that are present in the try uh, so we start the iteration for char c word dot to char array i search for the index if my p dot children index is happens to be null i initialize a new try node i update p to p dot children at i for the next iteration to happen and once i have completed a particular word or iterated a particular word i assign p dot word uh, to w my current word into consideration in the end i simply return the root of the try that i have built so it's exactly same i hope you guys you are able to follow this and now let's look at the dfs operation because it is something that is very interesting so D this dfs method is responsible for finding out all the words of the try that are present in the matrix and it will store them in the result uh, list so let's understand the parameters that we accept in this method the first one is the board itself the second one is the i comma j index the third one is the root of the try node and the fifth one is the data set that will store the result so the first and the foremost condition is to check if i have visited this particular entry in my board in the past or not and how are we going to do that we can use an extra a boolean a variable or data set of m cross n to actually store this otherwise we can exploit the board itself and if the character on the board happens to be a semicolon that sig signifies that the character has been visited in the past because i am setting it in the lower in it in the lower part of the code so i'll come come to it in the later section let's assume that if you see a semicolon character on the board it means that you have visited the current node or if my p dot children happen at c dot minus a index at this particular index happens to be equal to null if any of these two conditions are met that means uh, we have to abort the process and return back uh, our uh, building stack otherwise if my node is found that means p dot children at this particular index c minus a is not equal to null i proceed for the next iteration i update p to p dot children c minus a at this week i could have stored this index at a particular in a particular variable but never mind and while iterating to the next node i check if p dot word happens to be equal to not null that signifies we found a particular word Uh, in my uh, try and we'll add it to our result and simply update p dot word to null so that we don't uh, add it multiple times while iterating through any other word so as to deduplicate stuff in our array list you can use hash set as well but uh, either ways you can do any of these uh, otherwise now i go and update my current node to visit it i update the board comma i comma j to a semicolon and i start the iteration in all the four directions uh, we also stored what character was present on the board and once i am done with the iteration in all the four directions i update my board to unvisited and update the same character that was initially present on the board this is part of the backtracking approach this is part of the dfs approach and this is part of the basic try approach so this question is an amalgamation of all these three concepts i hope you enjoyed the solution and let's just try and submit it up accepted the it is it has reduced to 71 milliseconds which is 85% faster and memory space is also pretty good this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye